Okay, <laughs> so good night, my darling. Good night. Is it is are we live yet or what's going yes. on? Yes, we are. We are. Oh, very nice. <laughs> I'm just gonna do my little intro part and then we're gonna go straight right into it. Okay. All right. Okay, so welcome to the Essence of Life podcast, where we view life through the lens of learning rather than judging. And tonight I am very excited because I have one of the most energetic voices ever. I mean, the minute you hear this voice, you already feel excited about anything that you're doing. It's like a a game changer for wherever you are. If you're feeling down and you hear this voice, you're going to get hype all together. Right? Am I right? Hi! <laughs> yes, I have with me the amazing Sharifa. I have known her for quite a few years now and she has always added to my life. You know, there are people who add value to your life and I can attest that this young lady, from the time we met, she has always added value to my life. She's been an encouragement. She's actually one of the persons who have prompted me to start this, this podcast. So I'm so excited to be sharing this space with her and she is one of my first guests. So this is exciting. I am so honored and thank you very much and you too like I said what did I tell you when we had the interview the other day you are a light <laughs> you definitely you're a light you're a phenomenal woman you know you are proverbs what did I tell you you remember 31 proverbs yeah. 31 <laughs> yes proverbs 31 woman yes i'm excited to be here Thank you so much for taking Thank the you. time out to do this with me. So tonight we're going to be talking about a very interesting topic and I know there's quite a few of uh, persons in my audience and I know a lot of young ladies and I probably was uh, about to be in that same position that we're about to speak about. Where we're going to be speaking about single women over 30. Yes, Ooh. over 30. So why are we choosing that topic? It's because there actually are a lot of women who are over 30 and they're single and there are actually some of them who believe that something is entirely wrong with that and something is wrong with them and all of that stuff so before we dig deep into that give us a little bit about who Sharifa is um Sharifa is a lot of different things she's a mom she's an entrepreneur she's a teacher she's a cosmetologist she's a wow. podcast host She's a TV host. She does radio. She does everything. <laughs> she, she, you know what? She's sharing her love and her joy for life through many different mediums. What about that? Yes. And I also am a designer as well. I designed swimsuits a few years back and I'm getting ready to head back into that direction again. So wow, yes. this is exciting. You sound Something. like the one that God gave the 10 talents and you're multiplying <laughs> it into 20, 30, 40, and 100. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, I've seen your daughter. She's beautiful. And, and, and I know that you are a very good example Thank for her you. to look up to as well. Thank you. Yes, Likewise, so. too. Same for you and your beautiful daughter. Thank you, darling. So again, single women over 30. Why are women over 30 and single? That's going to be maybe my first question. Well, why well you know why? Not to interrupt you. I think women over 30, they have the common sense to realize that they're single because... <laughs> 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 but we, I'll say we as in women, you know, when we're younger, we're a little bit more impressionable and, you know, we're not hip to the games that are played yet, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. As you get older and, you, and you, you, you know what is valuable versus what's fiction, you yeah. tend to be more realistic as to your situation and what's real and what's fake. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you get to a new level of maturity and, and you realize that you're not just in it for, you know, a whim and bam or move on. You're actually in it for the real thing. You 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 have a clearer view of where you want to go with it at this time. Yes. So you're a bit more, more careful. Not picky as people would call it, but you're more careful because, again, you know your worth and you know what you're willing to accept in your space. But I think as you get older, you should be pickier. You know why? Because mm -hmm. you, you're as as days go on, you you're adding more value to your life. You may have children. Wow. As you get older, you're gonna have children, so you have to be very selective of, of who you bring into your children's yeah. life. You know, there's this uh, he's a podcast host as well, and he's he's very well known, but he's also very negative. I won't call his name. 
-hmm. and he goes viral all the time for insulting women they call him and they ask for so-called advice and he lets them know if they're over 30 and they have children they should lower their standards and lower their expectations which is ridiculous it's ridiculous because the older you get the more you know the more value you 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 have okay the more you have to live for why would you lower your standards under any of those circumstances why would you ever lower your standards to begin with let's start with that yes you know because again you have to know your worth and then when you do that you won't be settling for any little thing or whatever because you're trying to feel some someone's opinion of what you should be and where you should be at that time exactly and like i said why not why not be over 30 and single why not there has to be a why and a why not but yeah, exactly. But why why get into entanglements that don't add any value to you or your child's life? It doesn't make sense. Yes, yes. It doesn't I make agree. sense. I mean, you should not be doing... Women shouldn't be doing the same thing in their 30s like they did as teenagers or 20-something years old. Let's say going around in circles. Yeah. You live and you learn. Something happens, you learn from it and move on. I agree. But but what do you think, uh, before we go into the next question, maybe I should still focus here. Sometimes you are at that age and you, you know, people, society is the one that is making it out to look like it's wrong. You know, like who gives us a timeline on when exactly we're supposed to be single and not be single? Where, where did that come from, really? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think it's based <laughs> on the fact that people think, well... Well, the purpose of marriage really is to to have children, right? That That's the yes. whole thing. Because, you know, okay, the purpose of sex is to have children. You're not mm-hmm. supposed to have sex out of wedlock. Mm-hmm. You have a certain amount of years to be able to, to have a to child. Have them. Yeah. Okay. 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 So that's where the timeline is probably So that's from. where the timeline comes in. Now people try <laughs> to do the thing where they have to find a man that's a good husband and a good father. Yeah. More pressure yeah. again. Yeah. Yeah. I, okay. I get you on this one, yeah. Yeah. Such a wise person. And then as <laughs> women, as 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 adults, even even men, they have a timeline too, but their timeline is around like what they want to accomplish by a certain age. And us too. Yeah. Yeah. As we, women, we, we, we have we, goals. Yeah. yeah, we have goals too. But you know, um, I saw a quote today and it says, if you pay your own bills, you're single. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> you pay your bills, you say, yep. you're, you're controlling that. You got out on the control. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to understand, what I want to help our, our listening audience to understand is that if you are that age and you, you're single, I don't want you to think that something is wrong with you because sometimes we need to understand unless you are prepared to share your space with another person, another human being, mm-hmm. unless you're prepared to do certain levels of compromising unless you're prepared to have that in your life you're better off being by yourself because even in the bible paul says that it is good for a man to be single but however if you cannot allow yourself to burn with the desire and we know what the desire for means then Mm -hmm. it is better for you to get married because if you if you're allowing yourself to burn then you're gonna be all around the place slipping around that kind of thing so he's saying that you know by being on your own is actually not so much of a bad thing because he thinks that at that time you can have a better relationship with God because you're so focused on God and all your energy is spent on God you know so you have that kind thing and I remember before I met my husband I prayed that prayer I said Lord if you're calling me to be single for the rest of my life I am going to take that as long as I get to be with you although I really secretly didn't want to be single for the rest of my life (laughs) but I was I was bringing myself to the place where I was telling him just how much he meant to me altogether that it didn't matter right so this is what mm-hmm. i ended up doing but mm-hmm. it, it turned out to be quite fine because he realized okay she's gonna be loyal so then i can release the husband and sometimes yeah. uh you know we, when we look at some of the causes of of women being single at a particular age you know what are some of the causes we can come up with again it can be you have a, a choice you have a particular option that you would prefer that you know that is compatible with you so you prefer to wait for it Um, yeah that's definitely where i'm at i i prefer to wait for you see i spend i've spent a lot of time single so when Mm -hmm. you spend a lot of time single you become pickier for lack of better words because if you can have peaceful if you can have a peaceful environment by yourself anybody coming to that has to add to it for the positive for the for the better do you see what i'm saying Yes. 
so it's 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 like that so you definitely you know become pickier but i think the whole purpose of being a single adult is and when i say single adult it's not that a minor will have a relationship what i'm trying to say is part of being an adult is knowing yourself and learning who you are in christ yes. as well okay yes. so think about Preach. it <laughs> do you want to run into a relationship before you know yourself do you really want that relationship nope. to teach mm-hmm. you who you are I mean, you can't work. avoid learning things about yourself from a perspective of a, an, another person. But I'm saying, yeah. don't be so quick to rush and look for something perfect. And you're not perfect yourself. Yes. yes. So I'm in the process of working on a lot of things. God shows me a lot of things that I need to work on. It, would, wow. it wouldn't be obvious to the naked eye, but I know. Yeah. And that's, that's what's important. Once he's sharing that with you and it's clear to you, then yes. you can start the work and the two of you can do it together. But, you know, another reason also is that some persons may have gotten married when they were in their 20s, let's say about 25, 26. And that's and good they, too. they mm-hmm. would have faced a divorce. So they still end up being single in their 30s and then they're afraid to open back up and to start all over again. So they mm-hmm. just prefer to, you know, like you said, they have become comfortable or they have been come up to a place where they are happy, you know, mm-hmm. just with them. Maybe if they have a child, they, they can make life work that way. So mm-hmm. it's not something that they're looking forward to rush back into, but they haven't gone completely through the healing process. So they're not able to get back into another relationship at that specific time. So that's another possible cause of why we can end up, you know, being over 30 and mm-hmm. being single. It's, it's so many reasons. It is so many reasons. And some, yeah. of, the, some of the reasons may not even be, I, I'm not trying to be biased, but we, we're talking about women over 30, single. Some of, some of that might not even be the woman's fault. It could be just like a female knowing her worth and not settling for somebody that is going to treat her any less than she wants. Yeah. You know, knowing what you want, it keeps you single for a long time. Yes. Because so you're not going to let particular... loneliness trick you. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Loneliness, that's a key one there. Because a lot of times we go into relationships because of loneliness. So that is a key yeah. one there. That's something we definitely do not want yeah. to do. And we can leave that for another episode. But ladies, I want you to hear it tonight or today, whenever you choose to listen to this. That if you are over 30 and you're single... Rifa has said it. She has said it in in a a few words, but she's so succinct with it. She's giving you, there's different reasons why you might end up in a situation like that. Mm -hmm. But she has given valuable insight. Learn who you are. Understand your worth. And I do have an episode on that as well. Understand, spend time Mm -hmm. with yourself. Make your decision. Understand that you're not less valuable. I like this one. She said you're not less valuable because you probably would have had a child already. Hey, that means you don't have to rush into it because you already have a child. Exactly. 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 And that's the advantage to being a single parent. You don't have to look at the clock and and, and go crazy, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because then you know that biological clock is quite fine because I already have my eggs out there already. So it's quite fine with me. <laughs> this is this is really good. I'm really enjoying this, okay? And this is yep. exciting. And this is something that we really just wanted to share with those out there who are probably feeling concerned and they're feeling hurt and they're wondering what is wrong with me or when is it going to happen for me but let me ask a question not to, not, not to interrupt you okay a lot of yeah. times you know when it's raining and you know you're inside and you might miss you know that comfort of being next to someone if, it, if it's just yeah. sitting down and cuddling and watching the television right yeah. after that mm-hmm. rain stops ask yourself do you really want somebody in your space are you, <laughs> do you do you do you really want to share the bathroom with somebody do you really enjoy seeing the toilet seat left up? Like, do you really like these things? Right? That is the, the sharing the bathroom part is, is this one does it for me because, you know, this is like your little personal place. The one place you just want to go and just be on your throne. Yes, ma'am. And then That's you have one of my favorite rooms seat. in the house. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Someone just swings in the door to ask you, honey, did you remember to turn off the stove or something like that? I mean, not like we're disregarding, you know, being in a relationship once you're happy and you're committed, but there are pros and cons to every aspect of life. Being single over 30 is the perfect time to get lost in Christ and God would lead you to your king, your prince, whatever you call it. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Your your boas and your roof and boas. Yes, yes. (laughs) I even looked at Instagram right. one day and looking for somebody named Boaz just to check and see. You know. <laughs> <laughs> it's another story. 
yes 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 but uh, before i go before we close off because we don't keep it too long i just wanted to ask you how does it feel to be on the other side of the table i mean usually you're the one who's the host asking the questions and and you know i am sipping ginger and peppermint tea with some cloves in it and i am enjoying this <laughs> my feet are up okay i love it <laughs> Yeah, you this I'm enjoying this too. This is really this is really you exciting. Are amazing. Yes. Yes. Are you not, I, I'm I'm much older than you, but you are definitely a role model for me too. If I haven't already told you that, you are. Yes, you have. Yes, you yeah. have. And I really appreciate I really appreciate that. Yeah. Indeed. I really appreciate it. <laughs> you know, Sir Shavrifa is so, you know, it's always good when we communicate. I mean, even if it's a voice note on WhatsApp or whatever, once mm-hmm. the two of us speak, you know, that that energy flows and and it's always something that is uplifting and I'm yeah. happy now that the two of us can come again together and share that same energy with the yeah. listeners of my podcast and those of who will be connecting on your side as well and hearing about the amazing lessons that we have learned as we continue to go through life and that we are now able to share with them. So mm-hmm. before I before I close up I'm going to ask if you have anything else you just want to say to the ladies, maybe even the guys, you know, because they are guys who are single and choosing to be that way because they feel like they need to find that specific person. Is there anything that you would like to just say to them before we close off? Well, to both males and females in that situation of waiting and working on themselves till they find that right person, I just hope that when that when God sends that person, you recognize them. You yes. recognize them. That's that's very important. Wow, this is good. And 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 thank you so much for, you know, acknowledging our creator. He's so amazing. He's the that's yes. the first relationship we have to set love for. Yes. Then yes. then we're ready to to have it with someone else, you yes. know. Yes. Thank yes. you so much for that. Definitely. God bless you, my darling. God bless you too, my dear. And hope we can have another follow up with this Definitely. one next time. We have more to talk about, a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. Say bon. Sounds good. See you guys next time on the Essence of Life, and we hope that this message could bless you. And don't forget to share it with all those who will be listening as well. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.